What's happening YouTube? It's your boy Techtrix back in another video and today we're looking at two tiny webcams that are 4K and they actually pretty similar but I think one of them might win today. We're gonna do another showdown and this is the webcam from Obspot Tiny 4K right here and the Insta360 link. Comment below which one you think won and which one would you choose? So here we go. First things first, make sure to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button. If you want to get one of these, I'll link this down below. So go ahead and check that out. When looking at the prices here, Insta360 Link is actually cheaper by $40 compared to the Obspot Tiny 2. So let's go ahead and open this up and see how well it does. Here we go. So this is the Insta360 Link AI powered 4K webcam. When you open it up, as you can see, nice packaging by Insta360. It comes with this webcam inside. Put that on the side for now. It comes with this accessory box down here as well. Some literature up there. Cable, USB-C right there. Uh, that's actually a maybe a sticker pad. USB-C to USB-A converter. Uh, taking out the plastic right here for the webcam as you can see there it's really good for that let's put this away so here we go for the obsbot 4k right here so here we go with the obsbot 4k Lit literature up there it comes with the case like so that's it for the box go let's open this up and there it is again a little bit thicker of a USB-C there. This is the Upspot Tiny 4K right there. And the base mounting, as you can see there. And up here, it does get another like USB-C to USB-A converter there. That's it for that. Ooh, here we go. So what's happening, everyone? And we are going to compare now. This is like a real-life test with the Insta360 Link and also the Osbot Tiny 2. So here we are recording in 4K, 30 frames per second on both. It is capable as well with 1080p if you want a higher frame rate at 60 frames per second. The Tiny 2 is slightly bigger and also needs this little extra cradle versus the Insta360 Link. The Insta360 link you just carry with you with just that single one and then the USB-C cord and you're good to go. The Osbot Tiny 2 is a slightly bigger. It has a different uh, cradle. You, it's it's like magnetic and stuff. So I, yeah, I guess you can mount it on like uh, metal surfaces in, in that case. It also has um, a separate cradle for a tripod mount. So. It, it is a little bit bigger if you want to carry it around. Now the Insta360 actually has three axis gimbal. So when you are doing a tracking mode on it, it'll actually be more stable compared to the Osbot Tiny 2. It's just a two axis gimbal. So if we're looking at the Osbot, this only has two axis gimbal, as you could see here, one and two. And the Insta360 link is actually on a three axis gimbal. You can even do a gimbal adjustment because it has one, two, and three different rotating positions. One cool feature that the Insta360 link has versus the Obspot is that it has portrait mode. So if you are streaming and you're doing like TikTok or something like that, you don't want to crop, then you're losing quality on your videos. You want the full quality, which Insta360 has. They also have the AI zoom. So if you want to just keep like just the, the middle up to your, maybe your waist or something like that, just the face, you could do that with these two. They all, they both have that. They have different, different options as well. If you're looking at HDR, the Osbot Tiny 2 is saying that it has Pix gain HDR compared to the um, competitor, which is the Insta360 link here. Uh, let me know in the comments below if that's really, uh, it matters a whole lot. Uh, for me, it doesn't really matter. The Osbot Tiny 2 as well also has a slightly bigger sensor than the link. Now again, it's not 
too big of a vantage. It's saying here on their website that Tiny2 has a 1 slash 1.5 inch CMOS sensor and the length only has a, a half inch CMOS. So it's just a very 0.5, just small, tiny there, uh, which I think would matter more on low light. So this is a test with our low light situation. I have my phone flashlight on the back, so it kind of shows and the test as well for the HDR. Let me know what you think, which one is better. In my opinion, it has more sharpness and more quality with the Insta360 link. Even on low light, the 4K 30p uh, really does really well here compared to the Offspot. Um, if you look at the Offspot, it does kind of fail on the low light side of it. Even the tracking and the autofocus starts to fail on the off spot. Here's another test for the HDR. If you're sitting on a window right behind you, as you could see here, washed out on the off spot Tiny 2. But you can still see the background on the Insta360 link. But also here, if you're looking at the samples on the videos, as I'm just comparing right now, the off spot Tiny 2 has a more contrasty look. It's slightly on the darker side, but the Insta360 link here has a brighter, nicer lighting, which is actually more one-to-one -to, -one to what we have right now. Also, additionally, Insta360 link has a remote control on the app. So it's very intuitive. We don't need any other device. You can just pull out your phone and you'll be able to control your link with your phone. Now it's also saying here that the Offspot Tiny 2 has a four times faster focusing. Um, it also has all pixel auto focusing or manual focus. Let's test that out right now. I'm just gonna pop up something on there and see how well it does. Let's see here. Well, no, once again. So as you could see, Insta360 Link offers faster and more accurate autofocus. Now, Offspot also has this like beauty mode that you can you can find right here. For me, it doesn't work as well for the most part. I don't really like it. See, look, it makes your face kind of weird looking. So I don't like I don't like that at all. You can also use like a background blur if you wanted to, but it doesn't work as well. Now, both these cameras also have AI zoom. As you can see here, we're gonna test out right now. You see here. AI zoom, you can turn that on and then AI zoom on the OBS bot as well. Which is pretty much like you just have to see where it's going. For example, um, you can have zone tracking on the OBS bot. You can have like close up as well, full body. I have to be like way back here to kind of see that. <laughs> but yeah. Um, again, I don't really like having it um, zoom in kind of like that. If you want to keep kind of like a upper body zoom in for the most part, then that is useful for that. But for the most part, that's not really as useful for me. Both of these also have desk mode. So let's try that right now. There you go. That's the desk mode right there. And then right here it has the desk mode as well. There you go. Pretty cool. So it is, as you can see right here, I see my hands. Really cool feature for that. So I could show you guys little things, right? So right now it's tracking me. Uh, let me know in the comments below which one does better as well on tracking me. I'm pretty fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, can you do it, can you do it? For my test here, Clearly, the Insta360 offers smoother and quicker tracking. The Offspot kind of lags a bit. Now, I do like how they have on the Insta360 link here, it says that it has the auto tracking, palm, zoom, and whiteboard. And it's really easy to see because it's all up there. Now, the zooming in and zooming out on both of these are kind of different. The Insta360 link actually is better because you can kind of adjust on how much you've zoomed in. On the off spot, it's only one kind of, you just hit it and then it zooms in. So as you could see here, there you go. There's no like in-betweens on the Insta360. You can kind of zoom in more by going up like so. 
which is really cool for me. And then if you want to zoom out, you could just you just pull down on it. And then you can also enable a whiteboard on the Insta360 link by doing this. So as you could see here, we've set it up our um, whiteboard. It has the four stickers on the side. Basically, the camera will recognize that. And once you click whiteboard, it'll focus itself there. No distortion whatsoever. You could see it's mounted on a wall that's kind of slanted but it corrects itself so that everyone can see on the class what's going on on the whiteboard. The Insta360 link and also the Alpswat Tiny 2 also has the, the built-in privacy mode. After 10 seconds on the T Insta360 link, it'll actually look down to have that privacy so that you know after your stream is done, it'll just tuck itself away. The Alpswat does that as well. And you can set it up to like three, 30 minutes, two minutes or 10 minutes after uh, there's no uh, activity. Now the sound for the Insta360 also has a smart noise canceling. So let me know in the comments below which audio is better on the Alpswat or the Insta360 link. Now it is pretty quiet here, but um, the audio, the mic that is built in is really important as well. So you don't have to um, set up a mic separately. Let me know which one is better, the Outspot or the Insta360 link. And that's it for today, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope I was able to help you on your choice on which one is the best, Insta360 link or Outspot Tiny 2. Personally, I like the Insta360 link just because of how small it is and how less of a, you know, if you're traveling around, it's so much smaller and you can carry it around with you. The Oswat has this case, it's a little bit bulky. You can't just like toss it somewhere. You gotta put, bring the case with you, which makes the whole package kind of bigger. I had a problem with Oswat Tiny 2 just right now when I'm recording this video that it kind of flickers, it slowed, slows down, it kind of lags a little bit on the Ausbot Tiny 2, which I don't like. I'd like to just plug it in, um, let it uh, plug it into my computer, my MacBook, and just work with it, and it's just good to go. Um, the Insta360 link just works, and I didn't have any problem setting it up at all. I actually tried to uh, update the software on both of these and the Insta360 program actually was able to do the software updates right away without any problems whatsoever. You just download it from their app and you're good to go. The Ausbot had a couple of problems. It didn't want to like uh, update or what or anything like that. For me, that's a really crucial part of like a uh, um, a device just because you just want to use a device without any problems you don't want to do like manual updating or anything like that that's something that normal users would love to have just anything that is plug and play and it just works that is amazing so definitely i would give the win to the insta360 link but let me know in the comments below if uh, which one is better for you maybe you're okay with the obsbot tiny 2 or maybe you're okay with the Insta360 link as well. So that's it for today, everyone. Subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.